Hello, we're the clean, and we're going to be playing later on on 120 minutes. You split up in '82. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the uh, thinking at that time? Uh, it was it just a like holiday, really. Yeah, just just been a break. very long holiday. We've been very busy in '82, playing more than what we originally intended to. So mm. it's still be a good idea to have a rest. It was the whole sort of. Um, because in New Zealand, obviously, you're very, very popular down there. Um, was it the rock and roll lifestyle, something which didn't appeal to you? That you know, sort of there was, I don't know if it was there, it was more just from mm, a creative point of view. Yeah, it? maybe just the treadmill. I mean, we were trying to have hol holidays and have, have breaks, but found it increasingly difficult due to the fact of not having much money and being offered lots of money to, you know, like, come out of your holiday and play, so... Yeah. You know, it had something to do with it, for sure. Yeah. So, but eight years is quite a, a long holiday then, was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good, good length. Yeah, it's a nice length. <laughs> well, we didn't think we'd get back together, but here we are, you know. Yeah. Don't ask me why. <laughs> One, two, three, I think we would prefer to, have, to uh, you know, have more time I'm gonna try to, to even write. Next. I mean, we wrote the LP in three weeks, which, I mean, in the old clean, we write a lot of the material over a period of three years, so yeah. sort of, I think we'd probably come up with better material and better recordings with more time, perhaps. Yeah. But I don't, we've never needed a lot of time, no. for sure, but it was a wee pushing it a bit much, like three days, it was yeah. a wee bit uh, yeah. much. The record's a bit, um, a little bit one-dimensional mm. for, for that reason, too. It was just... Um, basic rhythm tracks with no overdubs mm. really and uh, there wasn't much space to create space for the recording. Mm.
there is a it's been commented on as well but there's like a melancholy thing about the album lyrically and stuff is that uh, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> yeah, true yeah, yeah. it's a sh- it's it's being, 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 uh, yeah it's the kind of songs you write i guess some why, of them why anyway. is that uh, i don't know i mean someone once asked neil young why he writes so much depressing material and uh, he said, because it made me feel better, and I think I can relate to that. Because it doesn't make you feel better, you know. Mm. Uplifting, perhaps. I don't know, maybe there's a melancholy streak in New Zealand on the way, too. Something or about just it. us. Or us, <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know, quite a few things Yeah. have a melancholy streak through them. Mm. Maybe relax would be a better word. <laughs> <laughs> relaxed? I don't relaxed. know about that. <laughs> Dark and relaxed. Mm. Has, uh, obviously, originating from New Zealand, do you think that's been a bonus or a negative or uh, no oh. effect at all? Oh, bonus, maybe? I think a bit of both. I mean, there are negative aspects of it being lumped in with the... I mean, overseas, you tend to be looked at as a whole lot of, you know, all the New Zealand bands were sort of lumped in with this sort of thing from down there, you know. Yeah. It was perhaps not treated just as a band, another band that's up and coming, like the New Zealand band, the clean mm. you know. yeah. That's sort of a bit of a drag, but um, I think it's a bonus because it's a good place to work from. and. It seems quite easy to, exp- you know, to do things, make your music, and it's a good place to write, write music and make your music. It's just mm-hmm. a bit far to come on the plane when you want to go overseas. Yeah, it's yeah, different. it's really hard uh, <laughs> organising things over From the phones, the... Diff- you know, because of the time gaps yeah. and all that. It's all pretty difficult. Life just passes by 